Hello and welcome lads and lasses, thank you for joining me on this Deep Wind Gorge BG on my Enhancement Shaman. Haven't tried it for some time, so let's see how it goes. I've seen some buffs for healing, but oh my god, there's a rogue straight away. I tried to stun him, he disappeared it, okay, let's try to heal up a little bit quickly. Get that out, totem dealt quite a lot of damage to him. Let's try to delay this as much as possible and deal as much damage as we can, but the evasion is actually not allowing us to do so. Let's try to CC him, but he breaks it. Oh my god, just come on, bump some more damage. We're almost full HP back. Okay, he disappeared. He wasted basically all his cooldown and now he will be waiting probably. Okay, one sap. Or one, uh, one million other saps probably before he comes back with cooldowns on me. Alright, there he goes. Let's just thunderstorm him. He comes back again. Big birds, but we have our stun back. Now it's going to be four. I wish I could have some healing, please. Okay. Nice stacks from the walls. Big heal. It's going to be a delay once again. A trinket this, maybe. Force him. He's almost dead. He's out of cooldown, so he's probably going to delay as much as possible. But, you know, the time is at our side at the moment, so that's pretty good. They said I wasted a cooldown, but look at this. I'm gonna, he's gonna pop on me. I'm gonna thunderstorm him. Okay, that was actually shit. Let's just pop some uh, coolies and try to heal our big heal. Oh my god, almost 200k heal, <laughs> and that's gonna be doubled by swelling waves. Okay, big damage on this guy. He's not gonna run away this time. And big Ellie blast. Oh my god, 90k. That was juicy. Look at this, boys. That's why I like counter psych totems against rogues because they can't do that much against it. You know, I just like to pop the counter strike totem and allow the DPS classes to burst me while I'll just heal myself with the uh, healing, with the maelstrom healing, uh, which is quite a lot, especially after the buffs. So it's pretty good, honestly. Our damage was pretty okay. And now with the healing buffs, we got a little bit better at survivability. Of course, it's not top notch, but. You know, if people cannot CC you or something like that, then you are good to go. Oh my god, another guy. This is the same, I think. Maybe not. Probably the same. Then, let's have another round. Bro. Try to get him out of stealth, maybe. Probably not. Okay, bring it on. Oh my god, there's two of them. I'm not gonna live through that now. <laughs> Definitely. Shame. Alright boys, let's get back straight at quarry and see what happens there. We got some reinforcements in here, so it should be better this time. There's like two rogues again, so we can have our revenge. Let's just pop the Counter-Strike Totem, so their damage gets reflected all the time. It's also good in team fights because not many people will notice this and it can actually reflect so much damage. I still not haven't pop popped my coolies yet, offensive ones, but I think it will be a good time for that. And I got straight CC'd, oh my god. But the rogues are actually down. I think one ran away actually, didn't see him exactly. If he did die or not, let me know in the comment section below, guys. <laughs> Okay, let's just finish off this war. There's like three of them and three of us in here, so there should be no problem at all. All right, it seems that there's like a lost sheep in the middle of the BG, so let's jump on him. I think he tries to run away, but he should realize he okay, purge everything that he cannot run away from me. Not on Mount Earth, the guys gonna help him quickly. Destroyed basically. The demon hunter is probably gonna run away. Yeah. Just leave them be. Okay, there was a big zerg in which I died actually. And it seems they're coming our way into the quarry. But let's jump on this healer first and let's have another round. Stun him so the other guy can DPS him down. Lasso is so good. I love it. There's a two healer actually. It's going to be hard. Need to start popping some coolies. Come on, he's healing so much. Oh my god, there's two of them. That's even worse. Come on, I cannot actually get back on him. Let's switch into the warrior. Maybe we can burst him down. 
I'm dying, I'm dying, oh my god, no, please, no. Haven't been able to do much, but I think I can come back into the fight straight away, so maybe there's like lots of allies in there now, so do healers shouldn't be that much of a problem. And it seems that most of them are actually already been get rid of, so... That was a quick comeback. <laughs> At least I managed to hit that warrior. Alright, let's take back the farm. There's the mage, so low geared mage in here. He's gonna die in seconds, probably. I'm gonna get back onto him. Oh my god, block delay. You're gonna die, mate, anyway. Why you do this? Just get rid of the rogue. They were so confident of themselves, were there two of them at me? One couldn't do much. Finish off the priest healer, nice. Quick kill. Can we catch the warrior? I got eight stacks, could finish him off with the early blast, but I'm gonna wait. So I'm gonna do that that much. I'm gonna actually fish for that killing blow, 72k. He's got defensives up, that's why it was so low. Usually it's around like 100k crit, so it's pretty good, honestly. And you can do that regularly without any, you know, special cooldowns. That's why I like to have a proc trinket on my shamans, because uh, most of the time your damage is just, you know, random. I mean, random. It's you don't plan it, you just spam your... 10 stack maelstrom when you can and this damage gets really really big okay the rogue can we actually get him i need to thunderstorm him oh my god he's gonna use it and actually run away please 87k but i'm not gonna catch him unfortunately maybe maybe we can still catch him but that was big heal come on i got 10 stacks with my primordial wave Please shoot him. Come on. Oh my god, could have used my stacks first. He's gonna run away now, probably. <laughs> That's why I still like Primordial Way, because even for healing, it's big. Look at this. Regular 150k. <laughs> if it crits, it, it's just so big. Oh my god. Okay, the low geared mage again. We're gonna just get rid of him quickly. Like to fight a mage because we got almost like every counter cooldown for them. Let's charge in. He's gonna nova me probably. Gonna lasso him to keep him steady. Oh, that was also time actually. Could have purged it off. That was my bad, but it was just a delay simply. Right, the warrior has come, has come back for more. Mars guy. Okay, let's just break his shattering throw quickly. Start popping some damage, he's going for the heal, but I'm gonna hit him so it's not gonna do much. There's a reflect, so we're gonna wait it over and finish off with the big Ellie Blast. Not quite sure for how much it actually hit him. Okay, let's grab a Berserk and see if we can actually get somebody off guard coming out of the respawn base. Oh, there's the mage once again. Maybe I can find somebody else. The warrior's coming. Maybe I could just, you know, make an honorable duel with him. Oh my god, there's shamans coming that way. Need to run away. And the healer. Oh my god. I'm probably dead already. Please, is it actually worth using my coolies? Probably not. Just gonna wait. Oh, instant res. That what I like. <laughs> but I wasted the berserker buff, unfortunately. My damage would have been so juicy with it. But let's get back straight into the action. It seems that there's some duel over there. The Mars guy. But there's more action up in the farm. So let's go. There's this Evoker healer. So let's grab him straight away. Try to stun the shaman. So he doesn't do that much. Just to, you know, release some pressure. Pop Ascendance. So he doesn't avoid my damage constantly. Which is really irritating at times. The freaking mobility is just crazy with all those charges all over the place. All the cooldowns, just lasso him. Come on, pop the burst. I can't actually get onto him. 
We'd love to get some big hit now. Almost 10 stacks, guys. Almost 10 stacks. Come on, one storm strike. And booyah, 100k. Nice. One more, maybe. He's almost dead. Come on. Primordial wave. No, there's no point. He's almost full health back again. So let's just wait it over for the special chance when I can finish him off. You know, usually I try to use the primordial wave for healing. Uh, but, you know, when you just do see that there's a lot of pressure and you can get a kill, actually, uh, it's really good. But, yeah, I was trying to do this at this point, but unfortunately, you have to use two of your global cooldowns, not one. It would be a really good spell if it would be off cooldown. Oh my god, that instant heals and instant damage and uh, unpredictable would be so amazing. Nice Meteor, but I missed just now. Finish him off. Nice, nice. Good damage. Oh, I'm second in kills, actually. From Horde side. Not so bad, considering that Shamans are uh, overall considered pretty weak at the moment. I know, guys. Maybe in Arena, when dampening is so high. Their healing, our healing is, you know, nullified so much that uh, it doesn't actually play that much impact. But our damage is pretty good, honestly. Just, you know, would love to have some more, uh, some one additional cooldown that I could use, for example, during stun and stuff like that. That would be amazing. But if we actually know how to use cooldowns, you know, preemptively. Uh, just, you know, avoiding things in the first place rather than reacting after taking hit or something like that. Then Shaman's be okay, but, you know, it's not always going to be the case. Sometimes you just need to react properly. I just stun him. Almost 10 stacks. Give me 10 stacks and he's dead. Literally. Booyah. Oh, nice. Didn't crit, but I got him with the Frost Shock, which is good. This guy's on the defensive cooldown, but it's not going to help him that much. Nice one. The mage wants more. He's coming back constantly, but he's like a paper. And he's just delaying things in here. Well, the shaman's coming back, so let's grab. Let's get on him. But I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay, guys. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for the day, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.